Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Online with me, Longclaw, Valerian Steel, where we always deliver. Well I've been thinking about it for a while now. People ask me all the time, how do you make money? Why have you got so much money and how have you managed to get money so quickly in Red Dead Online? So I'm making a video series showing how I make money on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll focus on a different role each time and in this video I'm going to show you how I use the trader role to make money. It isn't simple to rank up and earn money in gold in Red Dead Online, but there is a process to follow. And if you're a money grinder, it will work for you. So come along and let me show you how I do things. I'll show you all my tips and tricks and you can join me in the game and join my posse and earn some extra roll XP and character XP as well as gold and money as well. So let's see how we get on. So let's start by saying I'm not the richest person in Red Dead Online, but I've only been playing Red Dead Online a couple of months and I've already got 43,000. That's quite a lot of money. Um, I'm a GTA money grinder and I started playing Red Dead Online because I was interested in exploring the similarities in the game and how the new frontier pursuit roles, the trader role, the moonshiner role, the collector, the naturalist, how they compare to the MC businesses and stuff that happens in GTA. And it's very similar and the process for earning money is kind of similar except it's obviously set in a hundred year old setting the trader business is very similar to the mc business in gta online you essentially run a business that requires stock and in this case it's animal carcasses and you can get these animal carcasses for free you simply hunt them down you take them back to your camp and your camp buddy Crips will turn these into products which you can sell that is as simple as it is you don't have to spend any money on anything of course you might want to think about getting a decent weapon I will always default to my sniper rifle and I use this to take out the animals and have a nice clean kill because the better the kill and the cleaner the kill the more stock you're going to get when you take it back to Crips The way I run my trader business is to camp up somewhere and then just follow the surrounding area around the camp. I use my sniper rifle and pick off all of the animals that spawn nearby. And if you camp in a similar location, I usually go for the Heartlands location, you will notice that the animals spawn in exactly the same place. After about five minutes, an animal will spawn exactly the same place doing exactly the same thing so once you get used to this you know exactly where to look and taking these back one by one is a very quick and efficient way of filling up your trader business you can see here there's two lines you need to fill up the top line with supplies and then crips will turn them into stock which you can sell the better the quality of the carcass so no massive bullets destroying its fur and things like that you need to focus on a headshot or a heart shot and that will retain its three star rating or two star rating which will be good now i camp down in the heartlands as i said and if you check it check this out there's a deer that spawns right next to my camp and usually this is the case wherever I camp in the heartlands if you look around you'll find deers spawning and I usually look for the animals that are sitting down and they're easy targets whatever but it doesn't take that long and you get into the habit and you get into a rhythm before you know it your trader business is starting to fill up so how does the trader business pay out well 
once you've got a full bar you can choose to sell either a local sale or a distant sale and a local sale once you're fully upgraded and I have made some other videos showing exactly how to upgrade and go from rank 0 to rank 10 and then from rank 10 all the way to 20 which is the full fully ranked up trader role once you're fully ranked up you will find that you can sell your trader stock for 500 dollars as a nearby location or $625 for a distant location now the distant location is not close of course it's going to be further away but it's not as close as you might think either I mean, if you look here my sale will take me from all the way from the heartlands down into New Austin now that's a long ride and a lot can happen on that journey there's only two ways that the sale will play out either you're going to be harassed by consistent NPC bandits who are trying to take you out and you can take them out fairly easily get back in your wagon no problem at all but it does stop you in the middle of your journey and then you'll be mounted on your horse you have to go back to your wagon and get in or like me in this sale nothing will happen to you and everything will be fine but you will have to take out a gang of attacking bandits who are there waiting for you and they're actually attacking the buyer so my advice here is that you always park your wagon up exactly where it needs to go and that will secure the stock then take as long as you like take out all the bandits and not much can go wrong as long as you don't show up without any ammo so it isn't that difficult and after a fairly boring sale ride i mean it does take 10 minutes 15 minutes sometimes to actually drive from your location at your camp to the drop-off you will make six hundred and twenty five dollars now anybody who plays Red Dead will know that's a huge amount of money to make for one sale and it isn't difficult and if you are consistently stocking your business you will find that you can do a couple of these a day and add in the moonshiner business and some other stuff you're raking it in <laughs>